Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And guys, in today's video, we'll talk about problems based on projection of a line when it is inclined to both HP and VP. Now, before starting this problem, um, I would suggest all of you to go ahead and watch my video on the concept development, rather the idea and procedure which needs to be followed whenever you see a line inclined to both HP and VP. Go ahead and watch that video. And once you see that, I'm pretty much sure that this one is gonna be a piece of cake for you all. So here we go, the first problem in the series and let's let's kick off. So we've got a straight line which is 55 millimeters long. So let me just write over here, the true length of the line is 55 millimeters. Instead of writing towards the right, let me, let me write all the given data here. So we've been given a line, the true length of which is 55 millimeters. Secondly, this makes an angle of how much? 30 degrees to the HP, theta is 30 degrees and 45 degrees to the VP. That means phi is 45 degrees. So guys, theta is equal to 30 degrees and phi, that is the angle that the line makes with the VP is 45 degrees. Guys, apart from that, the end A, okay, the line is going to have two ends, end A and end B. This end A is 12 mm in front of the VP, this way, this way. So any distance associated with VP is denoted by B, uh, D and D for point A is equal to what? 12. Okay. At the same time, that same point is 15 mm above the HP. So H for point A is equal to what? 15 mm. So th this is all the data that we have. And let's begin. Let's draw an X, Y line above which we'll be making the front view and below which we'll be making the top view. First of all, for any point, it's it's a case of first angle projection. Remember, H over D, okay? For any point situated in first quadrant, H above and D below. H is 15 and D is 12. You guys can work it out. If you have seen my videos based on projection of points, you can really work out what this H, D concept is all about. So 15 above and 12 below. So these two data have been used. The next thing, the next data that we'll use is this 55, again at an angle of 30 degrees. So 55 at an angle of 30 degrees. Let's, let's mark over here B1 dash, as simple. Same stuff. This is the angle that the true length makes with this over here, okay, below XY. 55 again, this is gonna be 45. That was pretty easy. Now guys, this is the locus of B in front view. Locus of B in top view, locus of A in front view, locus of A in top view. Produce a line from B1 dash. It is going to end up on the locus of A in top view. Okay, something like this. Now with AB1 as radius and with this A as the center, rotate this arc until it cuts this line, locus line somewhere here. That's it. And this point guys, okay, that's B. And when you join B with A, you will have the final top view. That's the final top view. In the same manner, what you can do is, you can project this upwards and this is going to be corresponding is, this is B2, this has got to be B2 dash. Now with A dash as center and with A dash B2 dash as the radius, rotate in the anti-clockwise sense. This point is gonna give you B dash and join A dash with B dash, that's the final front view. And you can also see, when you join B dash with B, it's gonna be an absolute straight line, okay? So that's it. Theta and phi were given to us. Alpha and beta, well, that has been worked out from the diagram itself. This is alpha. Let me show you. That's alpha. And that's beta. Okay, so you can, you can match the final answer. So guys, that was all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.